right, we're live. As you can tell from the show floor of Exchange, IBM Tech Exchange, Sandbox 2.0, I love that name. I'm with Alex. Alex, we're in the IBM Watson X video. We're not going to get into the X. I want to talk to the developer audience. Talk to me about what's here for developers at Tech Exchange. Yeah, I, I think just take a step back, right? Developers are at the the core of this kind of next generation of applications. So it, within the kind of .ai platform, we're focused on building and sharing a collection of services to support developers through that development lifecycle towards building these, this next generation of applications. All right, so I got to be blunt. We're, again, at IBM. I remember the days, the early days of Watson. I had to call in to get someone to come in, build an application for me, got a lot of value out of it, but I don't know if I would have called it a developer experience. How has that experience changed? What's the entry point for developers with IBM Cloud? Yeah, it's a really good question. So we're focused on sharing collections of learning materials and assets to help developers start and accelerate the, the development of those, those applications. So we've got our developer hub, which contains all of the information and learning materials required to get started with the platform, um, as well as our um, Git repo, which contains a load of kind of starting um, applications to um, kind of provide the foundation for a lot of these applications. So we've talked, you know, abstracted. Talk to me about some level of detail. What type of applications are developers actually building with? Yeah, it's good. it's a good question. So we see kind of four core areas for applications and generative AI and enterprises. We've got applications focused on classification and summarization. So asking models, right, we've got this um, transcript from our client. Is this positive in sentiment, ne negative in sentiment, um, that kind of analysis. We're then seeing a lot of kind of knowledge search and Q&A use cases. So many clients today have massive collections of um, data and documentation about their business. I want to expose that to um, their own internal stakeholders as well as their customers through kind of like a knowledge Q&A system. And then finally we have um, the automation of business workflows. So we're hit, talking a lot about kind of agents and agentic behavior and how we can use that, those kind of applications to automate the, the workflows that we do in our day-to-day -day role. So IBM with Granite on a cutting edge of small models that enable to me to customize these small models for my use cases, but talk to me about model selection in general. What, what's my options for models in the IBM development world? 100%, so within our .ai, .ai platform, we offer a collection of third-party models provided by partners like Mistral and Meta with their Llama series of models. We've also released our own set of Granite models, open source, that are smaller focused models um, that are optimized for specific use cases. Now the benefit of that it, with these smaller models is they're um, cheaper um, and they're more performant for these specific use cases. So bonus question, last question, talk to me about the AI community within IBM. Where can I get help from my peer group? 100%, so as I mentioned, right, we, we share a whole load of resources publicly and openly. Um, if you want to collect, connect with um, kind of the AI community within IBM, um, we just released our developer-focused um, Discord channel. So that's where we'll be sharing updates and answering questions about um, how to build applications, AI applications with the .ai platform. Alex, thanks a lot for joining me. Stay tuned for more coverage from the show floor of IBM Tech Exchange. Thank <laughs> you.